Allah. Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Whew. Today we're going to talk about mending bridges, not actual physical bridges like like this one right here that nature is trying to reclaim, but relationship bridges, personal bridges. Once a week on this channel, we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece. This video is uncut. And as I mentioned in this uncut, we're going to talk about the subject I just mentioned, which is mending bridges, particularly in your life with the people you know. Thank you for allowing me one cut in my usually hilariously owned cut video that has one cut usually my second cut I guess just had to make this one cut because of you know Brian the thumbnail and I was out camping and I wasn't in service range and I come back and I'm starting to get uh, social media stuff like flooded with pictures of, of Brian and um, not knowing what's happening I talked to my buddy Andy Gabs who uh, kind of let me let me know what was going on and all that to say um, The context of this video is still relevant. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, yeah, Brian was a big inspiration behind making the video. Anyway, and, and it is a big inspiration, so I mean, it's the bridge too, but anyway, I, I'm pretty jovial in the video, so I, I wouldn't want you guys to think that I had the information that I have from Brian now and would remain that jovial throughout the video. Um, so. I guess I just wanted to say that. I also wanted to say that all those folks that, um, you know, threw me under the bus years back and just, like, made fun of me for standing up for Brian when a lot of people were throwing him under the bus and, and seeing a lot of those same people make posts supporting him now. Um, I just want you guys to know I forgave you guys a long time ago for that. So, and I'm glad that you're not dark enough people to keep being like that even when the guy's going through something like this. Um... And uh, oh, just to encourage you to keep that same energy with people who are alive and well and are, are not suffering health problems and are, are not struggling on, on their deathbeds and stuff. Um, keep that same energy of supporting people and lifting people up, please. All right, here's the, here's the video I filmed. One, one more cut, sorry, thank you. Uh, I just want to mention, I remember when I was recording the video, I talked about Brian, you know, having that, being faced with his mortality, um, like being part of the reason he was shot. But I remember, I also remember that it was actually when he first started having animal con, before he got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, he was actually reaching out to people that used to not support him and inviting them to animal con, even despite that fact. So anyway, I just want to throw that in there too. Um, I was walking along, we went camping for bringing in the new year and decided to get back into running. I'm running down this trail, come across this beautiful bridge and it's, uh, it's pretty messed up. You can't really get across it and I, I'm going to get across it. I'm going to find a way across it, which is kind of part of the metaphor. Now I'm specifically kind of addressing folks in the reptile hobby industry. There have been lots of mended relationships I witnessed in 2023. Uh, big thanks to my buddy Brian Barczyk, who made it a, a big part of a uh, talk he was doing about, you know, and just I know it's just a big theme in his life recently where he's just mending bridges because of the unfortunate situation he's going through, you know, being faced with his own mortality, causing him to realize, you know, life's short, we're only here for a very small amount of time, want to make the most of it. And part of that is, is mending bridges with people that you have broken relationships with. And uh, it's tough. I'm, it's not something easy to do by any means, I don't think that it's easy. I don't think that this is going to be an easy subject or topic for a lot of people to handle, but I think it's an important one, a very important one, because anyone who's ever mended a broken relationship, I think it's fair to say that they were better off for doing that versus maintaining the, um, <sighs> maintaining the grudge or the, the bad blood. Um, and it, I would say that anybody who's encouraging you to, to continue keeping bad blood and not, not to reach out and try to mend a relationship, that's a prob probably a pretty, tox so <laughs> pretty toxic person in your life right there. Um, I think it's much better off, not just for humanity, but also for our specific industry, when people are able to 
meet in the middle over whatever broken differences they have. And, you know, some of them might be intense. Some of them are probably less intense and don't really need to, um, to be kept going. I'm sure there's lots of things out there where people would, whoa. <laughs> My point is, it's probably gonna be a bit of a mess if you try to reach out to this person that you have a broken relationship with and there might be some slipping. You might get hurt again. You might fall, um, you might break something. But I think it's more worth it to at least make the attempt and forgive whatever things happened that caused you to have this broken relationship in the first place. Because <laughs> life is short and I love the story of people having a broken relationship, then reconciling, finding that middle ground where they can agree to disagree maybe still, but also agree that we'd be better off if we you know, try to work together with what positive things we can see in each other and go from there versus maintaining brokenness and perpetuating brokenness. And that's something I've always been very passionate about is, is seeing people mend those relationships. And, you know, the cool thing is that some people that I've even spoken to who seemed like they were hell-bent on, hell-bent is a perfect word for it, on not um, having forgiveness and, and not wanting to see those relationships mended. I've seen some of those relationships mend in the last year. So that was, that was really cool. Um, I love to see that. It's one of my favorite things on this earth with people is to see those beautiful moments where people reach reconciliation and are making it to the other side of the bridge together and not letting that break keep them apart. Now, I, I do agree that sometimes it may be so treacherous and... and it's just hard. You can't. It, it takes two. That's the thing. It takes two. And if one person doesn't want to reconcile, then there's really nothing you can do about that. It's up to the other person. It really takes two people to fix that issue and to reach a meeting of the minds. But more often than not, I think if you just leave it unattended, eventually the whole bridge will just rot away and it'll just be a chasm rather than a little bridge that you could have made your way across with a little bit of work. Um, so that's my encouragement to you as you start this new year. And it's a good time to reflect on the time past and things that are coming new. And I think that's what I would encourage you guys all out there to do is you have a broken relationship in your life. In fact, I'm going to start pointing through my own thing and see if there's something like that. I think, I think I've done a pretty good job of maintaining relationships. So I feel like maybe for that reason, I'm a reasonable, a reasonable person to be giving this advice. I don't really have any broken relationships. Um, it's great. <laughs> it's great. I tell you, it's a, such, a, such a better way to live life, the short life that we have here. Um, yeah, I think everybody would be better off for it. So that's my encouragement to you for 2024. And uh, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Ooh, <laughs> you know what? I saw a bobcat right back there earlier. So that was really awesome. Haven't seen a bobcat in forever. Anyway, you guys take care of yourselves. Aloha.